Okay guys, Trek Collector back again this week and I have promised some of you guys that I would actually show you the 1350 USS Enterprise NCC 1701 Plastic Assembly Model Kit which I recently purchased more so because um, I've been waiting to get this for a very long time but because this came back on the market and it's the lighting kit for it just to put it in there so I'm just going to put that away for a few minutes anyway but, um, yes, this kit is getting actually released, is reissued. And uh, here's a great uh, question for any used modelers out there. Which hull do you prefer? Do you prefer the new one now with the, the smooth hull or this one? Anyway, as I said, they are reissuing this kit and the new one is going to have a smooth primary hull. So you won't have the grid markings on it. Um, I prefer this version um, I think pretty much on this one it's each to their own what kind of build you're going to do so let's kind of open up this box as I've promised for ages and we'll take a look inside what we get Ooh. now these uh, this is supposedly the easier kit of the the 3 one 350 scales in case you didn't realise there's also the NX01 and there is also the refit the refit being the hardest one of all these kits to actually do. So here's our little instruction book. I'm sure we're going to have great fun with that. I'm going to put that aside for a moment. This is more just to show you what you get in this kit. So, it's well packaged. These are our lights, I believe. So with this kit, you have a couple of options of putting in blackout lights, white lights, as we can remember from the, the TV series, the original one. Underneath, here's the primary up. So just to show you with there. So as I said, this one has the grid lines. This this the version that I wanted. I know a lot of you out there. I've seen on model pages have sanded all this down to go for the the smoother grids. And I know as well that they are going to be issuing just this section of the kit on its own as smooth as well for anyone that has got this kit and they do want the smoother. Um, primary hull. More parts. So there's our bridge dome. Part of our deflector dish housing. If you can't really, that's it just in there. Back into the cells. That's for our lights inside the cells that will spin around. Some clear plastic parts, so our bridge tom. Now I know as well that this you have a couple of options there as well. You can go for a black bridge dome, a white bridge dome, or clear, which is fairly cool. Um, I know as well if you any of you guys that are watching Trek Yards, if you've ever seen uh, Captain Stuart Foley's uh, model built, he's done a great job on the bridge. And he's done the clear part so you can actually see into the ship, which is a nice touch. That's the display base. Here is the secondary hull. And here we go, as I said. There's our bridge domes there, caps, blackout caps and stuff. Now, I believe as well that those caps can become in very handy for the likes of when you're spraying. So if you do do like, like what Stuart did and did a good job on the bridge, you obviously don't want to get any paint in there. So you can actually just change it out with the clear dome with the black while you're spray painting. Um, here's your cell or the buzzard in clear. Again, more light and fixtures. And we've got our cells here. Okay. Deflector dish and our deflector dish. So, big massive parts. Very handy kit for anyone that hasn't modeled before in a while. So, I'm looking forward to this. The other thing, good thing as well, is that I believe the new kit is going to have the paint specifications from the guys from the Smithsonian that actually pulled apart. Um, well, did, well, pull her apart and refurbish her the, the original Enterprise and they have 
all the colors so you're gonna get that in the paint guide so i might i'll see i'm not really brilliant on mixing paints or anything like that i tend to when i do my model builds kind of look for straightforward to try and get the closest uh paint uh one type as opposed to mixing i haven't really started using my airbrush yet which i really need to start getting into practice onto but i do uh spray i use the the spray uh paints which i think is very very handy especially for something on this scale um which is going to be fun so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch the camera off for a second actually i'll open up the light kit so you guys can see inside that and then what i'll do is i'll come back to you what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a mock build of her so i won't put everything together but just so you can get a sense of scale on this kit okay guys so here's the lighting kit let's open her up Now, I believe there's no soldering required in, 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 on this kit. Um, I do know, and I believe it's very straightforward to put together. Now, it, one thing that I have r researched up on about this lighting kit, though, is if one element of this cabling goes, some sections might lose light. So if one bulb kind of fails from that, you could kind of lose the lighting in that section which is unfortunate so if you're a more advanced model builder obviously you won't be going for this kind of kit but if you're a beginner or you kind of have some basics on electronics that this is a kit for you now i will say one thing the one problem with this kit is the hanger bay and um, now i don't know i think the new edition comes without the hanger bay for simple reasons that this was very very hard for a lot of people to get this the hangar bay into the ship with the lights in this kit now i have seen other people do great jobs and they've gone for smaller um wiring and lighting and they've done a very very good job um because due to issues with trying to get this to fit now guys if any of you are out there and have managed to use this kit and get it in fair play to you and i would love to see some photographs if you have them but this is fairly fairly as i said fairly straightforward nothing major to it there obviously are motors for our buzzards for the spinning okay now these are quite loud okay if any of you have seen captain Stuart foley with his um uh, enterprise and the engines on it is loud okay so that's just first of all so you know like everything when you buy these things you should kind of like you know i mean there's great youtube channels out there you can actually see other people's bills and um, people that have used this kit and uh, just to show you now as well this is kind of i want to be careful now with this last thing i need to do is do any damaging there we go there's our lights for our bazaars that kind of basically spins around and there's a few more bits and pieces that you need to do with it the other thing that comes in this kit just in case any is are wondering if you don't want to light up the kit you will have to get some uh parts some clear parts because Here's some clear parts that are included in. I think there's some shuttle bay there, but the more important one is the bridge dome, which is all clear. So again, if you want to do what kind of Captain Stuart Foley did, or if you want to have your computer panels light up, you'll need to get a clear piece like this. That does not come with the kit that I have. I'm not 100% does it come with the new kit. Um, that I haven't heard of. As I, as I said, I know the new kit's gonna be slightly cheaper, but I think it's not included in the shuttle bay. And there's some LED lighting. And there's obviously some um, lighting boards. And again, clear parts for windows. And power supply. Now, there's a couple of other things as well that you can get with. Um, there's another version of this that you can get. And it's actually quite good. It has um, photo etch parts. And it has weather and decals. So if you want to make your ship look uh, weathered without having to go to the hassle of spray painting, uh, you can, there is a version of this that has the lights 
the photo etch parts and basically photo etch is kind of brass pieces that put on to give missing pieces uh, extra decals which is quite good I've used it on a couple of models now uh, the photo etch parts are quite good I do enjoy using them and it makes such a difference and I've used uh, they've actually made such a huge difference to my shuttle bay on my refit and um, let's see hang okay so I'm just showing you my shuttle bay okay so we can see I mean, it's gotten a bit of dust already. This was a took a while to do now, guys. So, if we can look inside, I know the camera's not really focusing. If you can make out the two engineers at the back of the shuttle bay, and um, there's a little brass kind of a rail in there, their photo etch parts, and then sorry, you know, the camera's just concentrating on trying to focus it in on the shuttle in front of me. But some of the side walls on the shuttle hangar day bay are actually photo etch parts. And it really adds character to it. And I'll just put this down for a second just to show you some. Great thing about when you're, you're model building these days is that we've got the internet now. And it's such, it makes a huge difference. You can pick up all these tips. And there's my nice little shuttle landing strip that I've done there. So handy little tips I picked up on the internet as I said I have a long way to go on this model it's very complex and very um, very complex so I am actually um, gonna put this aside for a time it, like you know I'm proud of what I did with the shuttle bay but there's a good few other bits and pieces that I have to do and light blocking because there's so many lights in this kit as you can see there is a bit of light blocking here being done here just to stop any light leaks coming through Um but anyway, enough of that. Now, folks, this is it roughly put together. I haven't got the neck, uh, I haven't got the primary hull and neck connected to the secondary hull because there's a little bit of trim detail, trimming that I have to do here, just in between here to make it fit. Now, the reason why I'm not going to do a quick job on it is because this is so heavy. So I want the support to be properly there. But as you can see, this is a monster. And I would even say to any of you guys that don't want to be finicky and don't want to even light up this kit this is an easy easy model to build you know what i mean um you could look at probably spray painting i i, I think painting by hand would be a nightmare but you can, can get the aerosol spray paints which is just as handy which i have used um going into practice work i got the battlestar galactica and pegasus there a while ago uh, galactica was hand painted Pegasus was a first go with spray painting and it's actually not that bad so you just you know what I mean just get your technique down you don't have to do too much um, to master it you know just like fine light coats and um, it'll do the job but like even this kit I think just painted with the decals on is going to look absolutely fantastic and make a nice piece to anybody's collection but she is huge and as I said fairly fairly straightforward to put together so you don't really need too much huge modeling skills on this one. So I'm kind of glad that I've gone back to start on this one first before I touch the refit. Um, I talked to a couple of people about it and they said definitely the way to go is just get this one done. I'll build up a bit more confidence and then tackle the refit. The refit will take longer because there's more uh, detailed work. As you can see by the shuttle bay on the refit and that actually took a good bit of time you've also got the observation lounge and you've also got the rec room as well inside the refit and realistically they're three little models in themselves so to show you something else this is from a gentleman called ryan allen in cardiff i bought this on ebay a few days ago and that's why i was waiting um to show you this uh these kits guys because I really think when you have something finished, lit, and all that, just how well it looks. So, with your collection. So, here's my collection there. And I have this beautiful NX01. And that's, if you see on the right-hand side underneath, that is a Diamond Select NX01. So, you can actually see the scale between, uh, the difference between the two. So, that's the 1350 by Polar Lights um, NX01. And... Ryan has done an absolute fabulous job. I want to give him a big shout out as well. He did an amazing job posting this. This came from Cardiff all the way to Dublin. And I have to say, hats off. 
the care and attention that you put into um, packing it was absolutely fantastic. I know it cost him a little bit more to post. Uh, Ryan had to give this up because of uh, his children, which I can understand. Uh, you know, when you put a lot of effort and hard work into something like this, you'd rather see it go to someone that's going to take care of it. I'd like to point out as well that Ryan actually did a lot of hand painting on the Aztec and stuff like that. And they're just showing the scale of this ship. You know what I mean? You, you you can see that you know you don't really need airbrushing techniques here you know you go back at a distance and it looks absolutely fantastic so ryan thank you so much and that is a going to be a great piece of my collection so guys um to cap this all off at the moment i don't have prices because we're still waiting on news of when polar polar lights are going to be reissuing this kit it's going to be very very soon as I said, the new kit has a new 50th anniversary logo on the front of it, which actually the art look looks amazing. Um, I think it's somewhere in the region of £129 sterling or £139. I haven't worked out the prices in US dollars, my friends, um, or Canadian. But as I said, she is lovely. She will be absolutely fantastic when she's built. Um, so keep an eye. I will post it on the Trek Collector's uh, page when um, details of this model kit is due to be released. I also know that AMT are going to be reissuing their one, one to 2,500 scale uh, models again um, with new decals. Uh, they're not water decals, they're stick-on decals, and they're thrown in the NX01. So if anyone had that set before, what AMT are doing is they're offering all the starships on that scale in one complete box set and i believe the retail price is 99 us dollars which is absolutely fantastic it is a kit that i've been looking at trying to get individually and so forth like that and um, to get it all in one is going to be brilliant so again i'll post more news when i hear about that one but until next time guys take it easy live long and prosper be good. Slano Alia. Ihafo. And don't be strangers. And please, 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 guys, thanks for all your support and subscribe to the channel. Take care.